The beginning of the holidays is always cause for big celebration in the Owen household. But summer also marks the start of an important event for Amanda and Clive's other flock. Traditionally, now is the time to shear sheep in this part of the world. Our sheep spread over a big, big area, so yeah, it takes a while to get them all, all rounded up. What do you shout to your dog when you want it to come to you? That'll, That'll do. do. That'll do. That'll do. That. She's looking lean and mean, is Kate. Ready for action, just like you. With the huge task of gathering in the sheep for shearing ahead of them, Amanda rounds up some of the troops. First to volunteer a 10-year-old Edith and 9-year-old Violet, keen to learn the basics of working with a sheepdog. In order to be able to do your job, shepherd the sheep, get them in, to either clip them or lamb them or feed them or do anything, you need a sheepdog. You could not do the job here without a sheepdog. If it was just you versus the sheep, they'd win every time. That'll do, Kate. Come on to me. Kate. Kate, come on. That'll do. I'm going to send Kate that way, around the sheep. So which way do you think way. I need to say? Yes. Yeah. Away. away. So it's way. Away! Where? Way! Way! That's it. That's it. Here she comes. Here she comes. Look. Good last kit. Steady, steady, steady. Take time. That'll do, Kate. Steady. Stand. Okay. I can act like you when you're saying stand. That was very good, Gwanin. Stand! Thank you. That's it. And again. Stand! <laughs> Look back! <laughs> Slow down! So each time Kate goes clockwise, what do you say? And Come say by. it quietly so she doesn't do it. Come, Come by. And what do you do when you want her to slow down? Take, Take your, your time. time well. Yes! I'm very pleased with Kate, but she's a bit hyperactive. I wish she'd calm down a bit. <laughs> I think that animals quite like to have a purpose. They like to feel like they belong to something, like they've got a job to do. Kate knows hers. Kate knows her job and she loves her job. Why do you use a whistle at the moor? Because whistles are louder than your voice. A whistle will travel further um, than shouting will. Eat the whistle. Ah. I can't do it. Come back. Come up. Just ignore. They're very clever. A bit like you, really. Do you know your commands? Eat, sleep, repeat. <laughs> Eat, sleep, sheep, repeat. <laughs> we need some earmuffs for you. Gathering hundreds of sheep over 2,000 acres is a huge challenge. So the Owen family use quad bikes as well as sheepdogs to bring in the flock. But this morning spells disaster. Overnight, they've been burgled. We, we woke up to find... No quad bikes. No quad bikes at all. So that's really bad. So now we are bikeless. So we're really peed off. We, we've, we've spoken to police. I just hope they catch them. I was as mad as thump this morning, and you were as well, because it's really disappointing. It makes you really, really angry. It's the fact that someone's been creeping about in the middle of the night in the farmyard. You know, we're mm. asleep. Mm. Somebody comes up the yard comes into the buildings, pushes the quad bike down, past our bedroom window, and just off into the night. We've got a mile and a quarter to do of it just being a one-way road. When it's a one-way in, one-way out, you see, so you'd think that would deter them. It's probably our most used, most important yeah. piece of machinery on this farm. I think you need to think of an alternative form of transport, Clive. Like what? Your legs. Well, we use them anyway, don't we? Well, here we go. This is where they came, past uh, I know. where we were fast asleep. I know, just here. You can't believe it, can no. you? No. You know, they've... No. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's done now, so... Well, there's nothing you can do about it, no. but yeah, it's... With no quad bikes, Amanda and Clive now need all the help they can get. It's about adapting, it's about making the best of the circumstances. People used to shepherd here without a quad bike. It does make the job easier, but you can do without. So you just have to do whatever you have to do with whatever means you've, you've got. So just another challenge. And the kids on their summer break are more than happy to muck in. That's a bit too new, but he likes it this way. We're really pleased when they're home. I've got my own little army. 
and I can do all kinds of things. <laughs> I can send them out all over the place. So yeah, it's good when they're here because you know they'll help us, they're, they're great. With a thousand sheep to gather and shear, the family have to bring them down from the hills in batches. And Clive and Amanda turn to newly qualified shepherd Edith to help with the first of the flock. Edith, you know where you're going, don't you? Keep looking where your mummy, and you just want to be just so you can keep seeing fence, as you know there's nothing sneaking above you. And then hopefully we should all get to the bottom with sheep in front of us. OK? Yeah? OK. It's okay. got a lot to do. With such a vast area to cover without the quad bikes, they need to split up to bring in the sheep. You see those two there? Yeah. And like, one's in that area. Yeah. Am I getting those or are you getting those? Yeah, well, if you make loads of noise, they'll move. Practice the whistle, yeah? OK? Yeah? Try. Practice the whistle. Oh, I need to get to work. That's right. Which way are you going to send it? Quick. Away! OK, watch out where. Way! Tell her to steady. Steady! Good girl, shout at her. She has to... Steady! Good lass. Steady! Now you want her to go that way. That way? Yeah. Come by! Good. Good, good, good. Look, she's taking him. Well done. It is very tiring. When you're up here, you've got a lot more hills and bogs to go through. So you have to use your common sense to, like, see where you're going to go, otherwise you're going to get stuck. Walking on the moors is tough and can be full of unexpected surprises. Oh, God. <laughs> we call them totter bogs. And basically, kind of like liquid with a turf grown on the top. So you stand on them and they're kind of like, they're ripple. But ever so slightly terrifying as well, isn't it, to walk on? Yeah. Right, let's go see where them sheep have gone. Because you never know when you're going to pop. <laughs> yeah. Clive is really feeling the strain after hours spent walking on the moors. I'm missing my motorbike now. <clears throat> oh, well, it'll do us good to walk again. We used to walk when I came here, no motorbikes. And we walked everywhere. But that was a while ago. It's tough going, but Edith's training is paying off. She's helped herd the sheep to safety and even spotted some stragglers. Mum, there's two down here. You might need to get them with the dog. Kit, stand. Steady. So how did Edith do? She was, she was your right-hand woman. Edith did really good. She was great. But she did really well. And um, I think you've enjoyed yourself, haven't you? Yeah. That isn't the hard work over with, is it? That's just the start of it, Edith. You've gathered them, but now we've got to clip them. Daddy! Daddy! A helper down, nine-year-old Violet takes over to assist in the shearing of the final few sheep. Yeah, Tell you what perfect. you need to do, Viddle. This is very important. Do you want it trimming while we're here? Do you want it trimming? Right. There you go. Right, you girls get that. Okay. Get jump, one. jump. Right. Keep get get right under the wall. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep under that wall. That's lovely. Keep it down to the skin. Oh, well done. Hard work, isn't it? Think it's hard work. Yeah. Right. Good lad. Okay. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little study. Basically, once you can clip one sheep, you can clip any yeah, sheep. Of course you can. So it's do you know, and do you know how you learn? Practice. Give me five. Thank you. Huh? Well done. That's what happens here at Raven Seat. Everybody does whatever needs doing, and whether that's washing up or shearing sheep, as long as it gets done, it doesn't matter who does it. Me and Amanda believe that and, and we pass it on to our kids, you know? There's no job that, that somebody can't do. It doesn't matter whether you're a boy or a girl or anything. Just if someone needs doing, do it. And that's what we're trying to teach them.